Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using links in HTML. A link is one of the most popular HTML elements and it's used to link your website to other websites on the internet. So I could create a link that would bring my users to like google.com or facebook.com or I could link to other pages on my website. So if I wanted to build like a navigational list, I could have links to the other pages on my website that users could click and then they'd go to those pages. You can also link to files, things like images or PDFs, and you can create those links and then users can look at those images or PDFs. So I'm gonna show you how to create a link. We need to use a special HTML tag called A. And after A, we need to pass this tag some information. We need to give it something called an href. And the href is basically just where we want to link to. So the easiest way to create a link would be to create like an external link. So linking to a page that's not on our website. Imagine we wanted to create a link that would go to like google.com. Inside of this href, I can just type the address to google.com. So I can say https colon forward slash forward slash and you need to make sure that you include this like HTTP or HTTPS part. A lot of times when you will give someone a link, like you won't include this, it'll just be like www.whatever. But when you're creating an href and you're creating a link, you need to be very specific about where you want to go. So you're gonna need to include this part and then I can just type www.google.com. So what we've effectively done is told this link attribute that we want it to link to this address, which is Google. And now I'll close this and I can actually close off this entire tag so we can just make this closing a tag. And now inside of here, I can put any text for this link. So we could say, for example, Google's homepage. Now I also just wanna point out that inside of these link tags, you can put more than just text. So you don't have to just put text, you could actually put other HTML elements. So I could put like a header one in here, for example. So why don't we do that? We'll make this a header one. And now when I refresh my page, you'll see that we have this big old link over here. It's this big header one. And when we click on it, it will link us to google.com. So I'm gonna click this and you'll see that we get transported over to Google's homepage, right? So. We're over here on Google. So that's how you can create a link. And basically you can just go to any website that you want, come up here to the URL bar, copy the URL, including this like HTTP or HTTPS part, throw it into the href of your link and you'll be able to link there. Uh, there's one other thing that we can do though. One thing I want you to notice is when I click this link, it navigates me away from the website. So I click this and all of a sudden we're on Google. In certain cases though, you're not gonna want users to navigate away from your website when they click a link, right? In certain cases, you might want this to open up, for example, in a new tab. And the way that you can do that is by giving this A tag another attribute. So we can say, um, we wanna say target is equal to, and now inside of these quotation marks, we wanna say underscore blank, okay? So when you pass in this underscore blank value to this target attribute, this is gonna basically tell the browser to open up this link in a new tab. So now when we open up Google, it's gonna open up here in a new tab and we still have our website open. So that's one thing that you can do to make this better. And so again, inside of this link, I can put any HTML elements that I want. So I could put like an H1, and maybe we wanted to like make this homepage bold. We could put a bold tag in here. And you can really like get creative and like style these different links different ways you want to. So don't be afraid to put HTML elements inside of these A tags, because it's definitely something that you're gonna want to do. Another thing that we can do is we can link to other pages on our website. So I'm gonna get rid of the text for that link. I'm also gonna get rid of this target blank. And if you look over here in my file explorer, like my little file tree, you can see that in addition to this index.html file, which is the file that we're using right now, I also have this page2.html and this page3.html. And these are both just like other web pages that are on my website. So any given website is gonna have a number of web pages. You might have like an about page, a contact me page. If it's a blog, you might have a bunch of like blog articles. You get the point. A lot of times you're gonna have more than one HTML file for your website. 
and we can actually link between those files. And you can use this link attribute to do that. So in here in this href, instead of linking to Google using this like absolute address, I can link to those pages on my website using a relative URL. So if I wanted to access this page two, for example, let's say that I wanted to link to page two because the page that I'm currently on and page two are in the same directory, I can just type out page two's name. So down here, I can just say like page two dot HTML and the browser will automatically know that we want to go here to page two. So over here, I can just type page two. And now in the browser, you'll see that we have a link to page two. So when I click this, it'll bring me over here to page two. And you'll notice that inside of page two, I've already set up a link inside of here. So here in page two, I have another link, which is just linking me back to index.html. And this is a way that we can create navigation on our site. So now I'm over here in page two and I can navigate back to the home page. So I can navigate between these two pages on my website. I could also create another link to page three. So let's do that right here below this page two. We'll make another link this time to page three. And one thing you want to notice is that page three is inside of this directory. So page three is inside of a folder called dir one. If I want to link to page three, I can't just say page three HTML because the browser is not going to know where this page three is supposed to be. We have to tell it exactly where it is relative to the current file that we're on. So I can say dir one forward slash page three. And what this is going to say is we want to go to directory one and we want to link to a page inside of directory one called page three dot HTML. So now we should have a link to page three and you can see that showed up right here. I can click this and it'll bring us to page three. So that's a way that you can link to different pages on your website. You can also create links to files on your website. So in our case, uh, we just have this little cat picture and this is just kind of like a cute cat and we could actually link to this picture of the cat on our website. So I'm going to go over here into my index file and we can access this picture the same way that we've been accessing these HTML files. So I can just say instead of dir one, the cat picture is at the same directory. So I can just say cat and it's a JPEG file. So dot JPG and we can change this to cat. And now I should have a link to this cat picture. So when I click this, it'll bring me to this picture of the cat and I can look at the cat. So that's kind of how you can link to external websites, other pages on your website and files on your website. So in addition to a JPEG, I could also link to like a PDF or a word document. If I had it stored on my website, it doesn't matter. And that's sort of the basics of using links in HTML. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.